Yo, what's going on, Remnant Generation? Listen, the Spirit of God has given me a word for y'all on today. And the Holy Spirit was ministering to me, and he said, my spirit is grieved from my people. My spirit is grieving from my people in this season, says God. Not, in just, not even in just this season. It's been this way for a long time. And the Spirit of God was allowing me to feel that grief that he was feeling just by looking at the world today, looking at all the deception, looking at the corruption and the perversion even in our young children, looking at the, the mixing and the disconnection from the spiritual things, the disconnection from heaven, right? The corruption even within his own Christian people. God says my people are more disconnected from me than ever. Not even just people in the secular world. A lot of my people in the church are more disconnected from me than ever. And they truly believe that they know me, but yet they do not know me, says God. They truly believe that they are in connection to me, yet they are in connection with different spirits. And God says he's coming to expose the lies and reveal the truth. He's coming to reveal the areas and the places in your life in which you have come into covenant with different things, in which you have come into covenant with different spirits and different gods, idols that you have put above me that you are not even aware of, that have pulled you completely away from me, that have caused my presence to completely depart from you. God says, I'm coming to expose these areas so that you can renounce, denounce, and come back into reconciliation with me this season, says God. So he says, with that being said, take heed to my word and my warning, no matter how much it offends you. If I come to you through a prophet, if I come to you through one of my apostles, one of my evangelists, and you do not listen, mm, then my judgment and my wrath will begin to come upon you. I'm coming to judge the things in your bloodline. I'm coming to judge the covenants and the things in your life, the iniquity in your life. So do not be caught in it. And when I come to warn you, come out of it. And if you do not, then my judgment will also come upon you, not just the iniquity. This is deep. Listen, he says, I'm raising up my remnant of chosen people in this hour that are going to go back to doing things the way that I designed them to be, says God. That are going to go back to bringing the order of heaven back down to earth. That are going to give supernatural insight. That are going to reveal my mysteries, revelation, insight, knowledge that is not common to man. And because it's not common to man, a lot of people are going to shun you. Mm. People that are going to perform signs, wonders, and miracles, uh, miracles, people who know who they are, people who know their authority in Christ and will no longer compromise my standard or my word, says God. Come on, here's somebody. I hope that somebody receives this message on today and actually applies it to their life. My prayer to you is also that you become a part of that chosen remnant of people who will be bold and courageous as they preach the truth, no matter what the persecution, no matter how people treat you or mock you, that you will be bold and you will stand in the truth no matter what. See, what God has been speaking to my spirit is that he is grieved. Because Christians have never been so disconnected from him. Although he is pouring his spirit, spirit upon his people. Although he is raising up a different type of generation. There are also many Christians who are more disconnected from him than ever. Right? And what's crazy to me is that you could be speaking the word of God to certain Christians. You could be speaking to them about spiritual things. Things that are biblical. And everything in that person will try to argue with you on whatever the word of God says. You notice there are certain Christians that everything in them, their belief system, their hearts, their mindsets will actually combat you on the truth of the word of God. Yet these people think they know God. God says these people do not know me at all. There are people that have been in the church for 20, 30 years. They do not know me, says God. Mm. And, and which just goes to show you, when you come across people like this, it just goes to show you how long we've been doing it wrong. It just goes to show you how far gone and how lost and how disconnected from God some of the churches actually are. How long churches have been preaching doctrines of devils. How long they've been giving motivational speeches with no spiritual revelation, no biblical laws and principles, right? No raw, authentic truth, no real anointing, no real correction, 
no real rebuke or discipline. Everything is either perverted or at surface level. <clears throat> And we live in a time where because nobody teaches you about the spiritual realm and because everything is being taught, everything that's being taught is either perverted, it's either twisted or at surface level. The enemy has completely cut people off from the supernatural realm. So it's, it's closed off the windows of heaven. And because you've closed yourself off to the windows of heaven, because you are operating in a worldly government and bringing that worldly government in the church, because everybody is so lukewarm, because the churches are so surface level, this is why you do not see supernatural signs, wonders, and miracles. But the only thing these churches are doing is giving people feel-good messages. And now this is why you have people trying to bring new age into the church trying to connect Buddhism with Christianity, trying to connect New Age with Christianity, trying to connect stones and crystals to Christianity, talking about, well, God speaks to me through these rocks. No, he doesn't. Those are demons and familiar spirits speaking to you through, the, uh, through those rocks. And people will bring up, well, you know, they, they used to have the amethyst crystals or, or they used to have crystals on their breastplates or whatever the case may be. Listen, that's in the Old Testament. All right. Now, in the New Testament, Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. Therefore, we have direct access to the Heavenly Father through Christ Jesus. You cannot access the Heavenly Father through anything else except for Christ Jesus. Which also blows my mind, right, when you have these people when you have these people who are talking about, oh, well, Jesus ain't real, you know, there are many different pathways to God and many different pathways to heaven. Well, I have my own relationship with God. I believe in God, but I don't necessarily believe in Jesus. Foolishness. How are you going to say you believe in God, but you deny the one person, the one being who is the only one that can give you access to the heavenly father? You don't have a relationship with God. You don't know him. If you do not know his son, you do not know him. We have these Hebrew Israelites who are saying that Jesus ain't real. The New Testament is, is made up of this and that, and it, it's a bunch of foolishness. The New Testament is fake. The New Testament is corrupt. But these Hebrew Israelites actually believe that they know God, but yet they won't make heaven. They say things like, it's almost up for the Gentiles. Oh, the Hebrew Israelites, we're the only ones that are going to make it to heaven. Foolishness. You have people in the, in the church still worshiping their ancestors, talking about their guardian angels, but, they, but yet they still believe in Jesus and they think that they're going to make heaven, and they're not. So one thing God really spoke to my spirit, and he's going to continue using people who are bold enough to expose these things. And one thing that God told me, he says, you cannot connect your gods to me, saith the Lord. You cannot connect your gods and your idols to me, saith the Lord. And gods by meaning lowercase g. You cannot connect false gods to Yahweh. You cannot connect your idols to Jesus Christ. It does not work that way. So understand that God is holy, right? He's omniscient. He's omnipotent. He's supreme. He's superior. He's a righteous God. He stands above every other God. He is the creator. All these other gods that you are worshiping are the created. Are y'all with me? Even Lucifer himself, he was, a he was a created being. So to think that you can partake in all these different types of spiritualities and connect them to God or that you can practice all these different things and still believe you're connected to God is complete deception. Our God is a holy God. He wouldn't dare bring himself lower and connect to these other demons just because you worship them foolishness do you think that God submits himself to the way that you think do you think that God lowers himself and brings himself down and, and, and submits himself to the things that you believe in think about it it's impossible for God to lower himself and bring himself down it's impossible for him to connect himself to things that he created as far as the fallen angels, as far as Lucifer, I don't want people to take what I'm saying out of, out of context because obviously God can, you know, he can connect to the earth. He can connect to us and stuff like that. But I'm talking about as far as him connecting himself to false gods because he is superior. He's not going to do it. It's outside of his nature to do. 
So if you believe that, well, I practice New Age, but I'm still a Christian, you're not a Christian anymore. You're actually a New Ager. You're a witch because God does not coexist with these things. That's what y'all have to understand. He does not accept these things. He is above them. They're an abomination in his eyes. Witchcraft is now becoming like a trend because people are in search for something, right? People are searching to fill this void, and they know it can only come from something that's outside of this world. So people know that it comes from something spiritual, but because they were never taught how to access God correctly, they end up deceived and practicing all these different types of spirituality because the enemy is throwing it in people's faces. Right? Society puts new age in our face. He puts the tarot cards, the vibrations and frequencies, the crystals, the sage, the zodiac signs, the horoscopes, they're all thrown in our face because people do not know God. So it's that much easier for the enemy to deceive us. So society causes people to think that we've spiritually ascended. You know those people who say, well, you got you to gotta expand your mind spiritually. You have not spiritually ascended. You've actually spiritually descended down to the realm of the dead. But yet these people think, oh, well, now I, I've, I've tapped into something um, greater. They think, well, I'm woke now. This is where that whole fake woke agenda comes from. They were never taught these things are demonic. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1, and I wear this scripture out, and I'm going to keep wearing this scripture out. 1 Timothy 4, verses 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in latter times some will depart from the faith. Watch this. It didn't say depart from Christianity. It said depart from the faith. Because you notice there are even some Christians who tap into this stuff. And they will give heed to seducing and deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. People are literally following doctrines of devils, things that are taught by demons. And they believe that they're connected to God, having their conscience seared like as a hot iron. So the church don't want to teach you that these things are demonic because they're afraid to offend you. And it baffles me, right, because these pastors don't know they're actually leading you to the realm of the dead. They're actually, their blood, your blood is going to be on their hands. You have some churches that will know that you're doing these things and they won't even tell you. They're scared to. The zodiac signs, the horoscopes, these things that come from fallen angels. All of our children claim zodiac signs and horoscopes, which come from demons. They do not come from God. People always ask this question. Even my kids, right? I'm battling this right now because, you know, um, I, have, I have kids whose mothers I am not with. And that's a whole nother video and a whole nother subject I'm going to do about that. But it causes issues because if the mother is not teaching the same things that the father is teaching, you have two different households that two, teach two different things, two different doctrines, have two completely different value systems. So now the children end up confused. Even my kids ask this question, well, daddy, well, why are the zodiac signs? But they're true, though. The horoscopes are true, daddy. They're true. I think you're just tripping, daddy. I think you're just some of you, two of my own kids. They think that I'm crazy. They're true, Daddy, but they're accurate. Understand, there is always 95% truth in the best lies. But see, it's hard to explain this to children unless you've engrafted this into them since, since a young age. You have to engraft this in them, right, the day that they learn how to speak, as soon as they're able to learn and process, which starts at the age of like two to four years old. Because even at the ages of two, three, four, two, three and four, if you're already engrafting the wrong things into them by the ages of seven, eight, nine years old, even though they're still young, they've already been programmed a certain way. Satan comes as a bearer of light. So Satan and his fallen angels, you have to understand they came from God, right? God created them. So they have a lot of knowledge. They have a lot of the knowledge that God has. They know a lot of the stuff that God knows. They're supernatural beings. They used to be in heaven with God. So they take the truth of God and they twist it and pervert it just enough so that it still sounds good and it still sounds true. It still sounds accurate, but it's still a lie. Why? Because it's twisted, first of all. Second of all, it's perverted. And third of all, it's coming from a fallen source. They're deceiving you by using knowledge that sounds accurate into worshiping them instead of worshiping the one true God. And this is the part where 
majority of society fails to realize. The enemy is crafty. He's slick. He's a master at making the lies seem to be the truth and the truth seem like craziness. So we think it's not that big of a deal, but you don't realize all these things that, 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 that you think are little. All of these things that you think are no big deal is why you have identity issues. It's why you have depression and anxiety. It's why you're confused. It's why you're under curses. It's why you have financial struggles. It's why you're in generational curses. But the enemy has deceived you into thinking that, well, that's just life or, you know, all the struggles that you have in life. Well, that, that just comes from something else. You know, that's just, that's just a part of life. Yet the lie is right in front of your face, but you can't see it. The Bible says that people will have their conscience seared like as a hot iron. They will be given over to a reprobate mind. They will be given over to their own delusions so that they will believe the lie and therefore be condemned to hell. Are y'all with me on today? And one thing that, that's, that's so crazy to me, when I expose these things, right, zodiac signs, horoscopes, praying to the ancestors, people get so deeply offended. Like, you wouldn't believe how offended people get with me. It's like they either look at me like they want to fight me or they look at me like I'm just the goofiest, silliest dude on the planet. Yet I'm telling them the truth. It's crazy. Good will be called evil and evil will be called good. This is a prime example. Everything in this generation is backwards. Everything in this generation is backwards. So these are the tactics that have become normalized in this generation. Everyone thinks it's normal. But these are the very things that are keeping us completely disconnected from God, right? People are trying to have their other gods, lowercase g. People want to have their other practices and still be connected to Yahweh. You are no longer connected to Yahweh. You have now exchanged the kingdom of God for the kingdom of darkness. If you are involved in any of these things, you are now worshiping the practices of fallen angels. Just by what you practice and what you believe in, just by yoking yourself up with zodiac signs and the horoscopes, you are worshiping fallen angels. You are no longer connected to Jesus Christ. God says he's tired of the mixing and the ignorance of his people. The Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. People are out here full-blown witches, and yet they think they're Christians. Children are 11 and 12 and 13-year-olds. They're full-blown in witch, witchcraft. Full-blown witches and warlocks are children, and they don't even know it. The parents don't even know it, or they, or they just don't care anymore. God says it's, it's, time to, it's time to come into truth, and it's time to tear down your idols. Renounce your zodiac signs. Renounce your horoscopes. Renounce your fraternities, your sororities. Renounce the new age. Renounce the tarot cards, the psychics, the mediums, renounce the ancestral worship, get rid of the crystals and sage, says God. It is time for my people to come back home. It is time for my people to come back to the source so they can gain revelation of how I originally designed them. Satan wants to mix, just like the Tower of Babel, right? Right? using brick instead of uh, stone, using tar for mortar, building up that temple, the Tower of Babel, I'm sorry, building up the Tower of Babel because he wanted to ascend to the heavens. Right, so by wanting to ascend to the heavens, what were they trying to do? They were trying to extract power from the heavens. They were trying to extract power from God, but they were trying to do it illegally by exalting themselves. This is exactly what we're doing in the world today. God says his judgment is coming upon his people if they do not repent. God is bringing his wrath and his judgment upon witches and warlocks. Witchcraft is going to continue to get exposed. These things are going to be revealed. The truth is going to get revealed. The lies that you have been told your entire life is going to continue to get exposed exposed and whether you choose to believe it or continue to do what the rest of the world wants to do that's going to be on you but you cannot say that you have not been warned listen the bible says in nehemiah 13 verses 23 watch moreover in those days i saw men of judah who had married women 
from Ashdad, Amman, and Moab. Half of their children spoke the language of Ashdad or the language of one of the other peoples and did not know how to speak the language of Judah. You see what this scripture is saying? Because God's people, the people of Judah, right, had married foreign women. They married foreigners. It's funny how the foreigners were not converted. The foreigners did not end up speaking the language of Judah, but yet the people of Judah ended up compromising and they ended up speaking what? The language of one of the other countries. They ended up speaking the language of the foreigners. They ended up worshiping the gods of the foreigners. This is exactly what the people of God have been doing, even Christians in the church. <clears throat> it's crazy how Christians know the language of the world. They know the language of new age, but they do not know the language of heaven. When you come up to certain Christians and you speak the word of God, they look like you're speaking Spanish. They look like you're they, like you don't know what you're talking. They look at you like you're crazy. These are Christians. And when you come with real biblical truth, when you come with real spiritual insight, they have no idea what you're talking about. But yet they use words like twin flame which comes from witchcraft. They use words like karma, which comes from Buddhism. God says, my people do not know me, and it's time to come higher. So if you are somebody who knows the truth, God says he is calling upon you to preach his truth in boldness, to expose the lies, no matter the backlash, the retaliation, the persecution, he's looking for people that will be bold and courageous in his truth. I love y'all and God bless. Come on, let's get it.